Item. SCP-724. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Due to its immobility, SCP-724 is located in the central vault of Site-54. This vault is surrounded by a set of hinged shielding plates that can be closed to block radio signals from reaching SCP-724 and suppress the anomaly. SCP-724-1 specimens can be kept in standard size cages, although any that are currently being monitored should be separated from each other by at least moderate soundproofing. Individuals not being monitored are kept in kennel sections with Faraday shielding. Transport of SCP-724-1 specimens must not use unshielded cages except by written permission of researcher M. Site-54 maintains the outward appearance of a corporate office research facility, in the name of a foundation front company, SCP, Inc. The lobby is to be staffed by foundation security personnel posing as civilian receptionists and security guards. Description. SCP-724 is an anomaly covering approximately 8 meters in diameter, located near the intersection of interstate and route in. It occurs only when all of the surrounding radio towers, designated SCP-724-A through SCP-724, are broadcasting actively, and when the signals from these towers are able to reach the anomaly's location without significant interference. While SCP-724 is active, any individual of the species Procyon Lotta, North American Raccoon, that passes through the anomaly is permanently altered by unknown means. Altered subjects, collectively designated SCP-724-1 begin to frequently produce abnormal vocalizations including human voices, music, static, modulation-demodulation signals, data expunged. Subjects do not appear to understand or control the content of these vocalizations simply acting as passive receivers. The volume and clarity of vocalizations increases with proximity to the active SCP-724 anomaly. No anatomical or chemical alterations have been identified in SCP-724-1 compared to unaltered specimens. These vocalizations have been found to correspond to radio transmissions from sources other than the towers surrounding SCP-724. Transmissions captured by SCP-724 have been confirmed to originate from numerous locations throughout the Northern Hemisphere, and occur throughout the RF spectrum. A log of identified transmission sources can be found in Document 724. Each subject seems to have a distinct remote receiver at a fixed location, frequency, and protocol. The location and tuning of each individual's receiver appears to depend upon the incident signals triggering the anomaly at the time the subject is altered, based on factors such as amplitude and frequency.